Stuart, um, 30 years old from Brunswick, Victoria. I'm an air conditioning salesman. It's pretty glamorous, I guess, in a way. Like, that's probably what you're thinking. I did a Bachelor of Arts at Monash. I did uh, Criminology, Media and Communications, which obviously led me to my career in air conditioning. I think as a kid I was very serious. I've slowly become less serious as I've grown up, but I'm still a bit of a, a serious idiot. And my, uh, my goal each time is to just to not stuff it up, pretty much. That's, that's always my goal, not to freeze. My second open mic spot, I totally froze on stage. It felt like, to me, like five minutes, but apparently it was only about 30 seconds. And then it turned out okay, but you know, I, it took me a while to recover from. So that's the thing I'm trying to not do. I don't really want to win, I just want to talk. If I talk tonight, that's a win for me. From Victoria, please welcome Matt Stewart. Hey guys, uh, how you doing? So I, um, I've been getting into the idea of karma lately, you know, what, what goes around comes around. I, I think it's a really nice idea, you know, good things happen to good people, that's nice, right? But my favourite thing about karma is that since bad things happen to bad people, I no longer have to feel guilty about doing bad things anymore, you know, because <laughs> people have it coming to them, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like the other day when I... Um, I accidentally reversed into my elderly neighbour's car and I did quite a lot of damage. I remember thinking to myself, oh no, Gerald must be some sort of a deviant. <laughs> and, and that, 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 that was really surprising to me, you know, because he, he's always been seen as a real upstanding member of the community. <laughs> he's always been particularly nice to me, but unfortunately my fears were confirmed later that night when I threw a rock through his kitchen window. <laughs> I know. Because then I knew that Gerald's a bad man and that karma's a bitch. <laughs> I keep hearing people say that there's only one solution to the boat people problem, and that is to turn the boats around, right? Seems strange to me, right? Surely the problem is that people are having to flee war-torn countries and oppression, right? So I don't really know how turning their boats around is going to solve that, you know? Unless what they're thinking is that all the asylum seekers need is a little bit of time away, you know? A bit of fresh sea air, you know? <laughs> By the time we turn the boats around, they'll be refreshed and ready to take on the oppression with a renewed sense of vigour. <laughs> you know? Maybe. But I kind of think that might be overestimating the rejuvenating powers of an ocean cruise, you know? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe what they're thinking is that for the oppressors, it's a case of absence making the heart grow fonder, you know? <laughs> maybe they think by the time we turn the boats around, the oppressors will be standing down on the foreshores of their war-torn countries, arms outstretched, ready for a big boat people group hug. They'll bring him in tight, whisper in there, hey, hey, don't leave me. I, I missed you. I love you. Never wanted to oppress you. I just wanted to impress you. <laughs> I think what they mean when they say it's the only solution is turning the boats around. I think what they actually mean, it's the only thing they can think of to make the problem go away, you know? But if that's the case, I don't think you can call it the only solution. Like, off the top of my head, I can think of a bunch of different ways to get the same result, you know? Like, instead of turning the boats around, why not turn the boats around and around and, and around and around? <laughs> and around and around and around and, until everyone on board's all dizzy and disorientated and they start drifting off in the wrong direction, you know? Back out into international waters. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, you guys.